So we got to do the falling of the chandelier. So we, being the BBC, God bless it, we don't have any money. So we do get hold of these two second-hand uh, chandeliers, but we've only got one that will fall. So they impress upon us, the props guys and everything, this is it. If it doesn't work, that's the end of it because you can't do it again, not unless you repair this, uh, the chandelier. So one of the things that I remember saying, I said that might help to take the curse off it, I said to Nick, the, now be careful, uh, uh, Rodney, because the weight is gonna, you know, might be sudden or whatever. I said words that it says. I was hoping that to get the audience to think they knew what was gonna happen, which was the ladders were gonna go like that and we were gonna fall to our doom on the ladders. I wanted to take their mind off the, the chandelier that was gonna fall. So he gets the cue upstairs, the props guy, and it falls. And we're standing there on these ladders with this blanket. We know what's happened because we can hear it. We are gripping everything in our professional bodies not to laugh because we can see the picture in our minds. At last, the director shouts, cut. Well, you've never heard such an explosion of laughter from the crew. And when I looked around, there was people taking socks out of their mouths, handkerchiefs, microphones, anything they could stuff in their mouths to stop laughing when that chandelier dropped. That was as funny and as enjoyable as the chandelier dropping in my mind. And unfortunately, you, the audience, can't see that but uh, I will always remember that vision. And there we have a piece of history, the famous chandelier joke. <laughs>